propeller-driven aircraft have shaped aviation history with their power, endurance, and engineering ambition. From massive military transports to record-breaking experimental designs, these giants showcase how far propeller technology has evolved. Their enormous wingspans, multi-engine configurations, and rugged airframes were created to move troops, cargo, or even spacecraft components across continents. With that in mind, here are the biggest propeller aircraft ever made. Antonov and 22 Ante. The Antonov and 22 Ante is the largest turboprop powered aircraft ever built, combining massive dimensions and unmatched cargo capability. Introduced in 1965 by the Antonov Design Bureau in Ukraine, it measures 190 feet in length, has a wingspan of 211 feet, and a towering height of 41 feet. Its maximum takeoff weight reaches 551,000 pounds, making it capable of hauling over 80 tons of cargo across intercontinental distances. The Ante is powered by four Kuznetsov NK, 12MA turboprop engines, each driving a pair of eight-blade, contra-rotating propellers, which are among the most powerful ever installed on a production aircraft. These massive propellers generate tremendous thrust and allow the Ante to operate from unpaved or short runways, a feature essential for military and humanitarian logistics. Primarily used by the Soviet Air Force and later the Russian Aerospace Forces, the Ante has served in roles ranging from heavy military transport to global disaster relief. Its cavernous hold can accommodate vehicles, troops, or oversized cargo, such as helicopters and fuel tanks. Even decades after its debut, the Anti remains one of aviation's engineering marvels, representing the peak of turboprop transport aircraft design. Lockheed L-1049 Super Constellation The Lockheed L-1049 Super Constellation is one of the most recognizable propeller-driven airliners ever produced, admired for its elegant triple-tail design and long, graceful fuselage. Built during the 1950s as an advanced derivative of the earlier Constellation series, it measures 116 feet in length with a wingspan of 123 feet. Its maximum takeoff weight is about 147,000 pounds, giving it the strength to carry passengers or cargo on long intercontinental routes. The Super Constellation is powered by four Wright R3350 duplex cyclone radial piston engines, each turning a three-blade Hamilton standard propeller. These large propellers were variable pitch units, allowing precise adjustment for performance during takeoff, cruise, and landing. Together, the engines produced a combined output of more than 13,000 horsepower, enabling cruising speeds above 300 miles per hour and an operational range exceeding 5,000 miles. Used by airlines such as TWA and Pan Am, and later by military branches as the C-121, the Super Constellation represented the height of piston-powered air travel before the jet age. It connected continents in comfort and reliability, and its smooth flight characteristics made it a favorite among pilots and passengers throughout its service years. Lockheed C-130 Hercules The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is one of the most capable and enduring propeller-driven transport aircraft in history. First flown in 1954, it has become a cornerstone of tactical airlift operations worldwide. The aircraft measures about 113 feet in length with a wingspan of 132 feet, and its maximum takeoff weight reaches around 175,000 pounds. Despite its size, the C-130 is designed to land and take off from short, unprepared runways, making it invaluable for military and humanitarian missions. The C-130 is powered by four Rolls-Royce AE 2100D3 turboprop engines, each driving a six-blade Doughty R391 propeller made of composite materials. These propellers deliver strong thrust while maintaining excellent efficiency and reliability, allowing the aircraft to operate in harsh environments with minimal maintenance. 
Earlier models used the Allison T56 engines with four-blade Hamilton standard propellers, marking a notable evolution in design over the decades. The Hercules has served in more than 70 countries, transporting troops, vehicles and supplies, and adapting to roles such as search and rescue, aerial refueling and firefighting. Its rugged construction and outstanding flight performance have kept it in production for over 70 years, proving its unmatched utility in both combat and peacekeeping missions. Convair B-36 – Peacemaker the Convair B-36 Peacemaker was the largest piston-powered aircraft ever built and one of the most ambitious bombers of its time. Developed in the 1940s by the United States, it was designed to deliver nuclear or conventional payloads over intercontinental ranges without refueling. The aircraft stretched 162 feet in length and had a wingspan of 230 feet, nearly matching that of modern jumbo jets. Its maximum takeoff weight reached around 410,000 pounds, making it a giant of Cold War aviation. The B-36's propulsion system was unique, featuring six Pratt and Whitney R 4360 Wasp Major radial piston engines mounted in a pusher configuration, each turning a massive four-blade propeller nearly 19 feet in diameter. In later variants, Four General Electric J47 turbojet engines were added under the wings for additional thrust during takeoff and combat operations. This combination of piston and jet power gave the aircraft both long endurance and improved climb performance. The Peacemaker could carry up to 39 tons of bombs and remain airborne for over 40 hours. Though it never saw combat, the B-36 served as a critical deterrent during the early Cold War, bridging the gap between piston and jet-powered strategic bombers. Tupolev 2114 The Tupolev 2114 was the largest and fastest turboprop airliner ever built, a remarkable example of Soviet engineering from the late 1950s. Developed from the 295 bomber, it was introduced by Aeroflot in 1957 for long-haul international service. The Tu-114 measured 177 feet in length with a wingspan of 170 feet and a height of 51 feet. Its maximum takeoff weight reached about 401,000 pounds, allowing it to carry up to 220 passengers across vast distances. Power came from four Kuznetsov NK 12MV turboprop engines, each driving a pair of contra-rotating eight-blade propellers. These were the most powerful turboprops ever installed on a passenger aircraft, producing up to 15,000 horsepower per engine. The immense propellers generated significant thrust, enabling the 2114 to reach cruising speeds over 480 miles per hour, making it faster than many early jetliners. The aircraft's efficiency and range were exceptional, covering routes such as Moscow to Havana or Tokyo without refueling. Its spacious cabin and long range made it Aeroflot's flagship during the 1960s. Despite limited production, the 2114 set several world records for speed and payload, standing as the fastest propeller driven airliner ever to enter. Bristol Brabazon The Bristol Brabazon was Britain's ambitious attempt to redefine luxury air travel after World War II. First flown in 1949, it was one of the largest propeller-driven aircraft ever constructed, designed to carry fewer passengers in exceptional comfort rather than maximize capacity. The Brabazon, 177 feet in length, had an enormous wingspan of 231 feet and stood 50 feet tall. Its maximum takeoff weight was around 290,000 pounds, rivaling the largest aircraft of its era. Power came from eight Bristol Centaurus 18-cylinder radial piston engines housed in pairs within four wing nacelles. Each engine drove a pair of contra-rotating propellers, providing smoother thrust and improved efficiency for such a large airframe. The propellers, with a diameter of nearly 18 feet, were hydraulically controlled to allow precise pitch adjustments during flight. Inside, 
the Brabazon offered unmatched space and comfort, with lounge-style seating, dining areas, and even sleeping compartments. Despite its engineering success, the aircraft was too expensive to operate and entered no commercial service. Only one prototype was completed before the project was cancelled in 1953, marking the end of Britain's effort to create a giant piston-powered luxury airliner. Hughes H-4 Hercules The Hughes H-4 Hercules, often called the Spruce Goose, was an extraordinary flying boat built during World War II by the Hughes Aircraft Company. Conceived to transport troops and cargo across the Atlantic while avoiding submarine threats, it became the largest wooden aircraft ever built and remains one of the most massive propeller-driven aircraft in history. The H-4 measured 219 feet in length with an immense wingspan of 319 feet, larger than any other flying boat ever constructed. Its maximum takeoff weight reached around 400,000 pounds. Power was supplied by eight Pratt & Whitney R 4360 Wasp Major radial piston engines, each producing 3,000 horsepower and driving a four-blade Hamilton standard propeller with a diameter of about 17 feet. These propellers provided the thrust needed to lift the enormous wooden airframe off the water. Though the aircraft flew only once in 1947, for less than two minutes at an altitude of 70 feet. Built mostly from birch, not spruce, the Hercules was a technological experiment showcasing advanced aerodynamics and composite materials. Though it never entered service, it remains one of the greatest engineering feats of aviation's early large-scale transport era. Antonov A-40 The Antonov A-40 Krylia Tonka, or Flying Tank, was one of the most unusual aviation experiments ever attempted. Developed in the Soviet Union during World War II, it aimed to deliver a light tank directly into battle by air. Designed in 1942 by Oleg Antonov, the concept involved attaching detachable glider wings and a tail unit to a T-60 light tank, creating a hybrid vehicle that could be towed aloft and then glide to a landing zone. The A-40 measured about 140 feet in length with a 59-foot wingspan, and its total loaded weight reached roughly 17,000 pounds. Instead of engines on the tank itself, the lift came entirely from the glider structure, while a towing aircraft, typically a Tupolev TB-3 bomber, provided propulsion. The plan was for the tank crew to jettison the wings upon landing and immediately drive into combat. During testing, the tow aircraft struggled to lift the heavy A-40 to a safe altitude, forcing early release and an abbreviated glide. The tank survived the landing, but the concept proved impractical due to the extreme drag and limited towing power of the time. Despite its failure, the A-40 remains a striking example of wartime innovation and creative military engineering. Dornier Du X The Dornier Du X was one of the most ambitious flying boats of the 1920s and 1930s, representing the peak of early large-scale propeller-driven aviation. Designed in Germany, it first flew in 1929 and was at the time the largest aircraft in the world. The Du X measured 131 feet in length with a wingspan of 157 feet and had a maximum takeoff weight of around 123,000 pounds. It was capable of carrying over 150 passengers on long distance flights, a remarkable feat for its era. The Du X was powered by 12 Siemens Jupiter radial engines arranged in six tandem pairs above the wing. Each engine drove a two-blade propeller, producing enough thrust to lift the massive aircraft off the water for takeoff and sustain flight over long distances. The complex arrangement required precise coordination from the flight crew to maintain balance and efficiency. The aircraft's luxurious interior featured cabins, sleeping berths and lounges, emphasizing comfort over speed. Although it flew successfully across the Atlantic in demonstration flights, operational costs and the challenges of handling such a large aircraft prevented mass production. The Du X remains an iconic example of early 20th century engineering, pushing the boundaries of size, design and long-range passenger transport. 